Hi, my name is Jacob Youngblood. I'm a web developer here at National Control Devices. Today I'm going to show you how to use Sigma Switch. First thing you want to do is go to sigmaswitch.com. From this page you'll see the sign up option. We'll just go there. There will be basic sign up information. Uh, the username and password you'll use to log into Sigma Switch. The email will be used as a confirmation. And once that's filled out, you want to hit Create User, and you'll see a confirmation page. You want to hit Continue, and from here you'll want to download the listener file. What the listener does is it allows your computer to talk to Signal Switch. So you'll want to hit Run, and then Run, and Install. Once this pop-up menu comes up, you'll want to say No. All right, and you'll hit Start. And this will be your basic signal switch interface. Uh, right now, none of these buttons will work because we haven't configured the listener file. So if you hit on or off, you'll get this listener not connected message. To configure the listener, we need to go down to start, control panel, device manager, and ports. Right here, we'll see that our device is connected to COM3. Yours might be different. Uh, check here to make sure. All right now that we know that, we can close out of all this. Right click on the signal switch icon in the toolbar, and you'll want to choose config and go down to COM3, hit OK. The listener should be working now, so when you hit these buttons, you should hear a reaction from your controller. All right, it seems to be working fine. You can turn all your relays on off. This interface is customizable and we'll get into how to do that and other features in later videos. Thank you.